travelingmail.com. morning everybody we have taken a trip north we are actually just a couple kilometers north of the arctic circle today uh, we're taking a couple days in the town of i think it's called yakmuk we still have to figure out what that's called or how it's pronounced we're staying at the <coughs> the uh, asgard hostel here which is a, a different experience for us and quite fun pretty social and today we are going to head out to the local national park which is about an hour and a half away to do some hiking Tomorrow we're going to do a museum run to the local Sammy Museum and see what else we can get up to depending on the weather. So we're going to hop in the car, drive a couple hours, and then start having some more fun. We just arrived in the national park. It's called Stora Sjöfallet, which is not how you say it, but as usual, I can't pronounce anything. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. I've never been this far north. We're about 12 kilometers or maybe farther north of the Arctic Circle. And it's just beautiful. This is a really a glacially carved valley. And uh, we're just super excited to be here, hoping to see some reindeer. And it should be interesting because um, there's a lot of uh, hydroelectricity and stuff going on right on the border of the park. In fact, they changed the border so that it would be outside the park. So we may be seeing a lot of um, power lines and things like that too, but we're gonna find out. inside the nature center and you have to actually uh, take off your shoes and put on some slippers these felt slippers which is pretty cool it's part of the culture here um, they've got a really awesome display with a fireplace and a cafe and lots of uh, multi-language displays so there's signs in English as well as other languages um, and a lot of cool visual and physical things to take a look at and for the kids to explore and of course the, the requisite uh, relief map that everybody loves to look at. surprisingly soft uh, not in like a minky sort of way but in a cushioned sort of way they have so much fur on them that it's really kind of incredible uh, and surprising but they it's, it's nice boardwalks are really cool especially these joints that they do at the turns they're not your typical angle, as I would imagine. These boreal forests are very stunted because of the weather and snow, but you also get all these low hanging plants down here and these blocky rock sections up here, which are really cool. And they're all covered with lichen. We are gonna try to do a little hike that we think goes up there on 
one of those ridges up there. Uh, and we have to drive a little way to do that. But first, we're gonna grab some lunch. Always gotta put fuel in the furnace. So, off we go. As you look through here to the uh, forest with all the rocks and lichens and stunted, twisted trees, it's kind of easy to imagine trolls and ogres and all the kind of mythological creatures that go along with the, the North Country here. It's really eerie, but not really threatening either. I'm sure it's super harsh here in the winter, but at least right now, it all has this, to me, has a sort of a soft, welcoming, benign vibe to it. Uh, it's, it's awesome, especially when you think of, there's so many berries and uh, other things to be picked all along this carpet on the, the floor of the forest. It's awesome. We are headed off on our hike. Supposedly it's about a three and a half kilometer hike up, and of course three and a half down, uh, through these awesome woods starting off. And hopefully we'll have a great view at the top. There are a lot of bugs, only a few of which seem to be biting bugs, which is good. Um, but there are also a ton of berries and the sort of thing in this forest floor, um, which Sweden has this policy of being able to pick berries and forage for things all over the place. So they have great public access. psyched to be up here right now like I'm always happy when I'm walking and in the wilderness or woods or nature whatever um, but this is great and it feels very northern very Nordic which it is um, but waterfalls and mushrooms and blueberries and lakes it's a little wonky because of all the power lines and everything there's not a lot but there's a rather large one there um, and it's just so great to hike with the kids like we used to drag them up the trail and now they're sprinting ahead. We have to tell them to wait for us because they're so fast. And it's really fun to see that too. because people are getting tired but it's really gorgeous up here and it's just very rocky and lichen-y and a little bit swampy in places so it's a pretty good place to end the hike or to turn around anyway um, even if it's not the end of the trail we're happy to be here Good morning. Uh, today we slept in a little bit, have a bit of a lie-in, uh, as they say, and we are going to go to the Sammy Museum. Uh, it's a rainy day today, so we're glad we got our hiking in yesterday. Uh, so we're going to go down and check out the Sammy culture and learn all about that. Uh, and then maybe do a little bit of walk around town or something else like that. 
but we are looking forward to it. The Sammy Museum has this pretty cool little outdoor section, which we're going to check out just in case it rains later. But uh, I'm pretty excited about just seeing this museum because we dipped our toe in the Nature Center in the National Park yesterday. They had a, a fair amount of stuff in there, but this is a whole museum and I, I was left wanting to know more, so now we get a chance to do that. Uh, assuming that my family is able to make it out of this uh, Sammy house. they're free which is awesome and the kids really like listening to someone else tell them the story of, of what's going on um, they're both now Finn's gone off on his own and is exploring the museum and learning whatever he's gonna learn that's part of the cool stuff of uh, world schooling and so am I I've noticed about the displays here is it's all about our and we and this is actually a museum of the Sami people and it's their view on things which is pretty cool to see rather than then just the top government view down on uh, what is a traditional culture so that was kind of interesting to see saying how much fun it would be to come to one of the roundups for the Christmas market or the winter market here. I think that would be absolutely fascinating. It's our last day up here. We're headed back down to Umeå, almost at home. Uh, and we are right on the Arctic Circle. And being as such, we are a sucker for a certificate. And so we're gonna go in, get our certificate if we can, and uh, maybe take a couple po photos to prove we were here. And then we're gonna head back down south. It is a rainy day, rainy day yesterday. Uh, but that's kind of just the way you get. We've had great weather this trip, this whole year. So you can't really complain. Maybe not really what you imagine when you think of the Arctic Circle, but people gotta make a dollar. <laughs>
last or second to last stop on our way back to Umeå. And we are at Sweden's longest rapids. It's called Storforsens. Um, and it's a lot of white water going over rocks. We're excited to see it. That was pretty cool and loud and impressive. Uh, I'm glad we stopped. The rain kind of stinks, but the scenery is amazing. I hope you enjoyed our trip up to Jokmok and uh, other places. And I hope you'll check out our other videos. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. That's awesome too. And most of all, check back next time. We'll see you later.